among multiple myoporthesis methods, there will be one for you. As there are multiple options for myoporthesis, students and parents don't know which is the most suitable for them. Today, I'll make a video about the Myoporthesis Trilogy. If you like it, please subscribe, give likes, and repost it, and make more people understand the knowledge of myopia prevention and control. The first step is to recognize your real vision conditions. Accept an all-around vision inspection in the regular ophthalmology department and avoid missing the key period of treating oculopathy. The second step is to seek for the corrective methods suitable for you. Here is the key point. There are the following common methods of myoporthesis. In the Sheropia therapy, the convex lens with certain degrees are put before eyes, so as to relax the ciliar muscle of eyes and further prevent and treat myopia. The method mainly targets at pseudomyopia and low myopia, caused by astenopia. The commonest frame glasses are suitable for all age groups. The effect of controlling myopia development is limited. Its visual effect is poor for high myopia, anisometropia, and high astigmatism. Contact lenses are a preferred choice of most people with aesthetic appreciation. Although it is more capable of correcting high myopia than frame glasses, the contact lenses are placed on the surface of eyeballs, close to the cornea, so poor sanitary habits or incorrect wearing will lead to keratitis. This is the biggest worry of patients. Let's talk about drug therapy again. Low concentration atropine. Atropine is clinically used to relieve spasm of accommodation and mydriasis. To drip low concentration atropine to eyes in the long term may slow the development of myopia to a certain degree. The defects are also obvious. After using it, there may be symptoms like allergy, photophobia, flushing, fever, and fuzziness in the near distance. Atropine has not been clinically applied in a large scale in the mainland of China. Out of the limited time, I'll conduct science popularization in the next video. There will be one suitable for you. I've been focusing on teenagers' vision health for 19 years. Those interested in it, please give likes, subscribe, and repost it, and spread health knowledge to more people.